Uh, I've got a situation here. Well, I have a few situations. I just got over a stomach virus. The whole family was barfing like crazy. Uh, I'm feeling better now though. Uh, it's been a couple days of recovery. And like just about 20 minutes ago, I got really hungry. So I haven't really wanted to eat that much in the last few days. But then I went kayaking with my kids for an hour. And when I got back, I was like, oh my God, I want food again. Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about though. I'm here to talk about this coconut tree. So I've got this huge coconut tree right here, right? It's freaking huge. These things like, oh, they're enormous. Look, these things go way over there. And, well, there's a few problems with it. It's hidden my house. Like it goes up on the roof, it's, you know, sticking in the gutter. I've been cutting off the ends of these things over here. But it's just, just huge. It's everywhere, right? It also has a lot of coconuts on it. It's my third best coconut tree. And it's not that tall, so it has a lot of life left. However, it's hitting my house, and more importantly, it's shading this huge area here where nothing grows. Almost. Right here, I've got an avocado tree. And this is what's really sealing the deal for this tree. I've got an avocado tree that's growing sideways to try to get to the sun. See, I have another nice avocado tree right here. That one's doing great. Well, I guess it's a double tree. They're coming out of the same thing. I don't know, whatever. I'm just calling that one tree and this is the other tree. But uh, yeah, this one's falling a little behind and I would pick an avocado tree over a coconut tree, even though the coconut tree's already producing. Man, it's got a lot of nice coconuts up there. But avocado trees have had much more difficulty planting like down here, I've got a coconut tree there, and I got another one over there, and another one over there, and all down my path that goes down the canal, there's coconuts growing because I keep I keep replanting them. I got another one right here. It's already growing, ready to plant. I also got a bunch of, I found nine coconuts this morning. I ate one of them. Ugh, just ignore the boots. Anyway, so yeah, this tree is blocking most importantly, an avocado tree, but also a papaya tree, a mango tree, another mango tree, another papaya tree. So I think the sucker needs to come down. Oh, oh, it's such a good tree. I wish I could just move it, but there's no way I can move this. So <clears throat> I, think I, I think I have to let this one go. So let me just go down here and move some of this junk. I mean, this is all like fiberglass molds for, there's a boat mold there, some dome mold and windows for the dome. Yeah, it's important stuff. I don't want to, I don't want that stuff to get crushed, but I'm going to make it fall right later. Let me just go move this stuff out of the way. All right, stuff. Just move for a minute. I also got some new boots. I'm super psyched about. Man, I haven't had boots in years. Yeah, watch out for scorpions. Don't see any. Better not land on my house.
three quarters of the way through. Looks like it's starting to lean. So don't have to, don't have to worry about it falling the wrong way. Now the rest of this, I think I'll want to just throw it over there where I've got some some low ground where I throw all my stuff like this, slowly building it up, basically filling in a hole. Okay, and most importantly, I can get my uh, avocado tree here straightened up. Just shove it up a little, and it should start. Aiming for that nice blue sky up there. All right. It's a little bit past vertical. Hopefully when I take this thing away, it'll rebound a little bit and become vertical. So once I get that part straightened out, I can go up to the top because it curves. Not back to 100% yet. Jamie, you can do it. Huh. Right. 
maximum power for this one. Alright, you know what? Let's just man angle it. Hey! Hey! Yeah. No, you little. You're not getting away! Come on! Feels good. 